Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to edit existing pages and add new content pages within the content management system Joomla. The beauty about a CMS program such as Joomla is that when you're editing pages you never have to worry about losing the design integrity of your website. The design remains in place as new pages are added. So first we're going to open up a new browser and log into the backend administration. And for this example, we're going to be using Internet Explorer 7. And I'm going to be using one of the websites that I've created. It's appraiser-bayarea.com Administrator. So once you're logged on, or you get the login screen, you're going to type in your username and password. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken into the control panel of your Joomla website. So first thing we're going to do is go to the top pull down menu, and this is the top menu here. And you're going to select under content, all content items. Now this will display a list of all your existing pages that are on your Joomla website. So let me give you a brief overview of what information you'll see on this display. You'll see the title of your page here. Under the Publish column, you'll see a Publish icon that shows that your page is currently published. If it's not currently published, you'll see an X on it. The Front Page column indicates whether or not this page title or page is on the home page of your website. If you see an X on it, then that indicates that that page currently is not on the front page. If there is a check mark, and I'll just show you what that looks like. If it's a check mark, then that indicates that those pages are currently being displayed on your home page. And as we see in this example, he's got two pages of content that are, that are displaying on the home page. So let me just get back to the previous display. The next column is the reorder column. And the order column shows the order of the display as taken from each section and category respectively. Here's the order. And here's the reorder. And it's going to reorder the level at which it's going to show on your website. The access indicates there's different statuses here that can show up, but more than likely you will have a public access. If you have a website that indicates a secured login for your users, then maybe you're going to have a page that only shows up for people who are logged in. And if that's the case, then this public is um, notes it's going to be saying private. But for now, everything should display public because I want all my pages to be displayed on the front end. This ID is given by Joomla, and it's just an ID that's, that's a unique ID that's given to each page as an identifier. Then you've got your section that this page belongs to and your category that it belongs to, who the author is, and what's handy about this author column is that if you have multiple people who are writing content, then you can easily identify which one of them wrote this particular page. And this date merely indicates the date of creation. Okay, so we're going to select an existing item by clicking on the title. So you'll be brought to this display that presents what we call a WYSIWYG editor. And a WYSIWYG, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G, is just an acronym for what you see is what you get. And it's an editor that's similar to Microsoft's word processing software. So in the top section box, this is where you're going to be doing all your entering for your content. There is another function for the bottom box down here 
but we won't go through that function in this video. Rather, we'll discuss that at a later video. So you'll see that you'll go to the text in this intro text section on where you want to edit. And once you select it, you can edit the text and give it a bold, an italicize, an underline, or even a color. So you'll be able to specify the justification in this area here. You'll be able to set bullets, create indents, insert images, and create links, just to name a few. These are the most likely ones that you'll be using so we won't really go into too much detail for the other ones, um, for the other features, but we'll just stick to the ones that are most commonly used. So to add an image, you're going to select the icon that looks like a postage stamp, which is right here. And you'll be taken, once you click that, you'll be taken to another area that displays all the currently loaded images that are on your server. And in this website, there's only a few for now. So to insert an image, if it's currently here, you're basically just going to select it and click on the Insert button. If you don't see an image that's in the shared folder then we, and you want to upload one from your computer, then what you want to do, let me just uncheck that, is click on this globe with an up arrow. So when you click on that, it'll present this browse and it'll browse your current computer and you can select which of your images that you want to upload. And then once that's in this box, as far as the path, then you're going to click upload. And once the upload is completed, then your image that you've just uploaded should show up in the shared images display. So what you're going to do when it shows up is you're just going to check on it and it'll show you a display in this right hand menu and you're going to click insert. So as you can see once I clicked insert it brought my image into my page display. So if I want to move this say I want to move it somewhere other than this I'm just going to drag it and move it to the place I want it to go. Okay so once everything looks good to you then you're going to hit save or apply. Now the difference between the two is they both basically do the same thing but apply will keep you in this display page and save will take you out of this display page and back into the all contents item display that we were currently in before this page showed up. Now the display tabs on the right of the screen here will not be necessary to change for just adding and, and updating text or content items. So for now, we can just leave the default settings alone and we won't worry about that in this demonstration. So once you hit save, as mentioned before, you're going to be taken into the All Contents Item Manager. So that's how you would edit an existing page. So to create a new page, you're going to simply on this display click the new button on the upper right hand top area and what this will do is this will open up a new window and a blank screen for new content so here you're going to enter the title of your new page and then you're going to select a section and a category that best, best fits your new content. And then you're going to start entering in the WYSIWYG editor section all of the text and upload any images or add any new images that you feel are necessary that you want to include on this page. When you're done, then you're going to click save in order to save this information that you've just created. So I'm going to click cancel because I didn't enter anything in there. But once you hit save, then your new page will display in this contents item manager. 
and that's how you would edit existing pages and add a new page to your June.